Thank you. Yes, good morning. Make sure we open the time. Um, well, good morning, everyone. It's great to see you. I'm Julie Richards, Executive Director for the Murphy Chamber. Um, we have this program every Thursday morning. Is anyone here uh, for the first time today? And go ahead and you'll have time to say where you're about to come up, but just business and name. Hi, good morning. I'm Adriana Ashley, and I am your local Humana Medicare agent. And you just joined. I just joined. Just joined, a new yes. member, so welcome. Welcome. All right. So, just so you know, so how the program flow goes is that everybody gets one minute, and we have to be pretty prompt because with our numbers increasing, we're almost running out of time, and if that happens, we'll have to go to 30 seconds, um, like we did a couple years ago. So. Um, I do ask that you could stay on time for a minute, but what we'll do is we'll go and we'll have um, our, on, our people that are online go first, and then um, when you're at your table, I'll just point and you can go around, kind of be ready for the next person. Please come up here so that we can all hear you and see you if we're coming in on Zoom. And then we'll point to the next table and we'll go around. And then at the, um, after you finish all of that, we'll have a 10 minute spotlight. That is a business, um, a member opportunity that you can have. Um, and so if you're interested in having a spotlight and haven't done that yet, please see me and I can get you on the schedule for that. Today we'll have our spots, or who's gonna be doing it? Jean Chastain, um, she'll be going. And so uh, that's kind of how the flow of the meeting goes. And I'm just gonna give some updates on behalf of the chamber. Um, if you know of anyone that might benefit from this program, please let them know about it. You don't have to be a member of the chamber to attend. Most of everybody in the room is. Most of the time people join after so many times of coming, but we do welcome people to come check it out. It's a good way to meet other people in the chamber, see a little bit more about what we're about, um, and get plugged into your community. So please spread the word. Um, we always have more information about it on our website, murphychamber.org, just in case someone's like, well, I don't know all the details. They can go there and check out the information to find out where we're at. And we're typically always here unless there is a conflict, a meeting conflict. And at that point, I would um, post out and email out where we would be moving to for that week. We do have a couple of ribbon cuttings coming up in October. We have Caliber Auto Care scheduled for October 6th. That is a date change from originally what I had announced. They've asked to push it um, a week to accommodate some of their staff. So that's gonna be October 6th at 4.30. And they're located uh, almost on the edge of Murphy, going into Wiley, just next to the CVS. Uh, then we have Citrus Smiles. They've been a member um, just about a year. They're finally getting the ribbon cutting scheduled. So that's going to be on October 20th. And they are located next to Mojio's Pizza, between Boomer Jack's and Mojio's Pizza, just next to them. So that's going to be on October 20th. So mark your calendars. Join us if you, if you can. Um, and also let me know if you haven't yet scheduled your ribbon cutting or if it's a grand opening, grand reopening, I can work with you on how to, how to make that work for your business. Um, this weekend already we have May's Days and most of you are aware of that event. In case you're not, please come out, stop by. It's the City of Murphy's big vendor event that happens. Uh, very family friendly event. So if you have uh, any, any children, grandchildren, um, relatives, it's a, just a fun day, carnival rides, food trucks, um, it will end with a great fireworks show, um, and then in between you can shop almost 100 booths I think they're at, so it'll be a great day, the chamber will be out there doing business bingo um, to try to get people motivated to visit as many booths as they can, um, so they will uh, get a, a couple bingos on their card, come by and get a free uh, gift certificate at the chamber booth. So be sure to stop by at first and grab that from the chamber booth, um, have a little fun, and um, meet all the businesses out there. We also have our young entrepreneur booths um, that we host, and I want to thank Countryside Smiles and Edward Jones for being our booth sponsors this year. And in addition to, we do have from our young entrepreneur camp our sand art booth that is sponsored by Glacier Family Dentistry. Um, and that booth is, is kind of like their business 101 where they learn how to do a business. It culminates into their own booth. And then all of the proceeds that they make that day, they have decided to give back to our scholarship foundation, which funds scholarships for senior graduates, Murphy seniors. Um, so it's a great program. Um, we're really proud of the kids, and I think it's going to be a big hit, Sandart. 
booth. And we even have uh, make it, take it kits in case someone decides I don't want to stand here and make my, my uh, sand art today. But it'll be fun. Uh, and then coming up also next week, September 27th, we're having an informational meeting. Um, for anyone who actively volunteers, so whether it's an adult or if it's a ch child or you know teens that are working towards maybe fulfilling their obligations for a club, we're partnering with different organizations that have volunteer opportunities, and, and so it could be the City of Murphy, the Chamber, other nonprofits. Um, and if anyone is interested in learning how they can earn a presidential scholarship award, or sorry, scholarship, a presidential um, volunteer. volunteer award, thank you, um, they can work towards that, and they might already have hours that count towards that. And they're awarded that at our annual awards gala. So it's going to be a, it's a good program that we're just trying to get information out because we just became designated, I think, early in the spring. And so we want to get the word out to the community. So um, if you can send a representative in your organization, if it applies to you, or if you just know of some students that would be interested in learning more, September 27th, next door at the community center, 6 to 7 p.m. And then October 18th, we have our Lunch and Learn program. I'll be getting the link out soon for you to register. Members and non-members who can register, it is a little bit more expensive for a non-member, but we encourage you to attend. Um, it's a great way to invest in your business. Um, this one will be, again, centered on customer service. And we have Steve Zipkoff, who's going to be talking about delivering customer delight. Um, and we have this program sponsored by Countryside Smile, so thank you for that. And I'm hopeful, I've already had pre-booked Wine Brothers to be our, um, our caterer. So I know they were looking to be open by September, but whenever you're new and your restaurant, sometimes it's not on the day that you think, but we're hoping that that's going to come through and that you can sample their food. And so we're, we're really happy to partner with them as one of our new members as well. Um, that program will be at 1130 to 1. I'll get the link out soon so you can get signed up. And then November 15th, mark your calendars and also spread the word. Every year we hold a luncheon where we honor our area veterans and we actually offer them a free lunch at the luncheon. So that will be November 15th, 1130 to 1. If you um, have connections out in the community that veterans can get the word out, let them know about this. I will have um, a registration link soon on the website, and they don't have to be members. They can go ahead and sign up. They can call me, email me, we work it out so they don't have to pay. That's actually on us. And then we um, host a regular luncheon and have a topic. So I'll be giving more information out about that. So save the date, November 15th. All right, so we get started then. Um, and then, oh, I didn't want to forget, if you didn't see, Anna has provided a sign-up list for, um, we collect items to put baskets together for our annual awards gala that's going to be February 3rd. And so it's a great way to showcase your business and your, your information. If you want to put a full basket together just for your business, that would be great. Or if you just have an item to put in, we usually kind of put together themed baskets. Um, so we might have like a, a kid's theme, maybe kid's activities, or we might have date night, you know, whatever. So. We can, we can put something together if you just have an item, but that's what we're going to be collecting um, over the next several months to get that put together. So if you want to sign up and you already know something you might want to do, that will give us a way to reach back out to you and to get that going. So let's start this morning um, with Linda, who has, is coming in um, online, and if you want to go ahead and start. <laughs> Um, we can't hear you, Linda. I don't see you on the mute. Can't hear you. <laughs> well, if you use sign language. <laughs> yeah, that's strange. That Do you want to uh, log off and log back in? Why don't we go ahead, um, do you want to come on up? Why don't I just start? Let's see until she comes up. Yeah, Kevin, just start here. She did. Okay. Well, I'm 
actually okay. So she's like, you just gotta stand there. Go ahead. Linda, let's try it again. No, it's not better. <laughs> Where's our IT guy? <laughs> I do not know. That's she's Linda with Persona Marketing. <laughs> anything you can put a name on. Yeah, anything you can put a name on. The widgets, what else? Mm -hmm. Her holiday holiday. Mm -hmm. Chashi. Thanksgiving holiday call. Yeah, that's Thanksgiving holiday right now. Yeah, see, that's why we need. We need. <coughs> we're gonna have. Uh, we're gonna have a switch thing where everybody's gonna you know, do someone else's feel. Okay, go ahead. Good morning, Chamber. I'm Kevin Cannell with Modern Woodman, where we've been uh, helping family protect their financial concerns, just like the early woodman the force uh, since 1883. Uh, I personally have over 20 years of experience in financial services, life insurance, and uh, I'd like to uh, say that uh, my uh, biggest uh, referral, uh, if anybody wanted to send me one, would be uh, families wanting to protect uh, their future with life insurance. Uh, majority of my uh, work is with life insurance. So, uh, if you know anybody uh, that uh, that would like to uh, look at that, and, and also the part that makes us different is we work with nonprofits and give back in the community. Uh, with there's several in the area that, that uh, we're working with and, and have worked with. So, if you want to work with a company with a heart, give me a call. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Luke Trahan, financial advisor with Edward Jones. Uh, as you probably heard, the Fed increased interest rates three quarters of a percent yesterday. What does that mean for you? What does that mean for your uh, portfolios? What does that mean for the stock market? You've got questions? We've got some answers. Uh, the good news is that it doesn't really matter what's going on today. You know, what we do at Edward Jones is long term plan. What we want is long-term, high-quality investment strategies. That's what makes sense over our last hundred years. That's how we know we can help people grow their wealth. Great example, I've got a piece here if you're interested. It shows that if you actually took $2,000 every time that the market dropped, like it did the past couple of weeks, and invested in the market over time, over the last 40 years, that would have happened 16 times. How much would that be worth today? $32,000 investment plus an initial, uh, original 10000 would be worth over $2 million today. Luke Tron, Financial Advisor Jones. All right, Jimmy, do you want to start this table off here? <clears throat> <laughs> I don't like, you know. I know, but I didn't want to walk in front of the camera. Uh, so. I'm Jimmy Weddle with Carmen with Insurance. I'm excited to be here today. I hope everyone is having an epic day or an epic month. It is September. If you're in the insurance business or in the investment month, it's, it's the month that we push for life insurance. And that's very passionate to me because people pass away every day. There was a guy this past week, excuse me, this week, of was driving an 18 wheeler, got into Allen, trying to board a wreck, went over, crashed. He did not think he was not going to come home. It's very important that you have life insurance. If you pass away and you don't have life insurance, then your family have to pull out their credit cards or they have to go to GoFundMe. GoFundMe keeps 10% of whatever is collected. You need to use GoFundMe to pay for anything. Make sure that you have a chance to talk to all of us that are in here about life insurance. And Jimmy, what are the farmers? Hey, good morning, y'all. Uh, my name's Ed, I'm with Spectrum Business. I think most of you guys have probably seen me already. 
Uh, so yes, so uh, again, we are working with uh, owners to help them with their uh, internet and phone at home. So we understand a lot of people are working from home, uh, giving you the uh, commercial deals from home. Uh, so if you're interested in that, please give me a shout <coughs> on my table. Uh, also, as a customer, we also have a discounted cellular uh, discount for our customers only. It's $29.99 a month, unlimited plan. It's a great, great deal. We also have a $14 a month uh, plan as well that goes off your Wi-Fi, one gig plan, where a customer can just use that for their business, works off your Wi-Fi, <clears throat> just using hardly any data, only $14 a month. So if you're interested, please let me know. Thank you. safeguard our beneficiaries' health care dollar so that they can live their best life as they prepare for retirement. And Humana Medicare has many solutions, Medicare Advantage, Medicare Supplement, dental, vision, life insurance, and I really would like to get to know more about you and how we can partner as I partner with many financial advisors. As you know, uh, with inflation going up, it is a great thing to be able to help people with their healthcare dollar so that they can do everything that they want to do into their retirement years. So thank you so much for having me. Look forward to working with you. I, am, I have been a resident of Murphy for almost 20 years, so it's super exciting to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everybody. John Conwell with Dignity Memorial, and as most of y'all know, I help people pre-plan funerals, cremation, cemetery <laughs> arrangements. Um, and I tell you this each time, but I, I, I want to make sure I get the word out: is when you pre-plan, we have 2,000 locations throughout the U.S. and Canada. So if you pre-plan and you happen to move, you take your plan with you. We'll have a location pretty wherever you live and where you move to, unless you're up in the mountains of Montana or something like that. But we have 2,000 locations of it. transferable, uh, goes with you, you pay it out over time, you don't have to come up with money up front, but then it's in place. So when you pass away, um, everything's taken care of, and your loved ones don't have to worry about anything. Um, you can find me on the web at johnconwell.us, not .com, but just johnconwell.us, and we've got a lot of good information there. So. Uh, again, I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you. <coughs> uh, Paul Brown with uh, Edward Jones. We're out on the other side of working school. Uh, I want to do a quick thank you to Lee Craig for doing a very nice webinar on uh, estate planning for me on Monday night and my clients. And in advance, uh, thank you to Donna with the Historical Society. Uh, she's going to give me about six of those historical pictures to put up in my office. So, uh, retirement planning. Yes, what are we, what are, what's the concern with retirement? Where do you get income? Okay, bonds, stocks. Well, one alternative is, to bonds is an annuity. Okay, and annuities are different these days. You do not have to lose control of that money. And there's a particular fixed annuity right now done by AIG that will give you, let's see, at age 55, you're guaranteed 5.5%. So if you put in $100,000 into an annuity at age 55 and start plumbing immediately, that's $5,500 per month, or per year, excuse me, for the rest of your life. If you wait 10 years to start pulling money, every year you wait, there's an 8.5% increase in that amount. So if you put in money at 55 and wait to start pulling at 65, you're getting over $10,000 per year. So if you're concerned about your income from your bonds, your income in retirement, give me a call, let's talk annuities. Thank you. <clears throat> Morning, Dan. Terry, you're saying more automotive downtown. Hang on. Everybody's just playing 
I'm over here in Murphy. But it's only about four miles in our shop. And we have great places to eat at lunch. There are things to make an appointment, come in, have lunch, come back, and through, ready to go. So come and see us at Save Line Motive, where you really do save one. Morning, everybody. Sorry, I'm late. I got it printed. <laughs> um, so we're going to be passing this out. Um, Maco, I'd like to pre you know, put a thank you out to Maco. He's the one that printed it. Um, got a little ad in, the, in there. Um, but yeah, pick it up. I got a couple copies with me, and um, that's all I got. Thank you. <laughs> hey, good morning, everybody. I am Kaylin Brassfield, the lead pastor at LMA Church right here in Murphy. I am kind of new to the chamber. Uh, I was involved before, but really I've just gotten re-engaged. Re and I just want to say thank you to everybody for welcoming me over the past few weeks, especially Julie. Doesn't she do a great job? Thank you. But hey, I just want to say that uh, our church, I'm here to serve you and your business and employees in any way we can. So if you if you ever need uh, people to volunteer, uh, we you know me and my wife we both do counseling. So if we can serve you in any way, we want to do that. And I also want you to know we're constantly praying for our businesses to be blessed in Murphy. So I want you to know that. Again, I'm Kaylin Brassfield, and I'm the lead pastor at Elevate Church right here in Murphy. Thanks. marketing, sales, or your in-house operation. But I just want to share a quick little story uh, here, uh, how, how small the world is. You know, 30 years ago, over 30 years ago, I started out my career in business as a, as a revenue accountant in the oil and gas industry. And here it is, I, I meet Terry. I used to work at the same company with him many years ago. And then after that, I met Patrick. I recognized his last name, and it turns out I worked with his father when I first came down to Dallas and worked as revenue accounting, so it's a small world. Again, my name is Macko, I'm at Bullet Graphics Center. Remember, other printers may be nearby, but nobody comes close. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm Carl, we typed as a board, so I want to say good morning, Linda. But you know, we couldn't hear you, I don't know if you know that, but I can fill in. <laughs> we saw the marketing. We we sell uh, midgets. I mean gidgets. Hey, midgets, gidgets, widgets, widgets. So you need to give her a call, and she'll fix you up with all the widgets you need. Thank you. <laughs> Real, real audio tapes, cassettes, 
I don't have an eight track player yet. I'm thinking about getting one of those. But, uh, most of the guys. Does anybody here know what an eight track player is? Do you actually have one of those? Does somebody have one? Yeah. That was a hot thing to have a car you know, back in the late 60s. Yeah. I didn't realize you guys that old. Oh, wow. Check with the Murphy Historical Society. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, if we can help you copy, uh, transcribe that stuff off where you can actually see it. It doesn't much with you and their mom. I think their mom was when she was 11 years old, something that's a slide and stuff like that. There wasn't video back in those days, but anyway. Um, it's really nice to be able to get to see that stuff that you couldn't see otherwise. Anyway, Bob, tell us a special way we're going to paint the web for you, and we copy stuff. <laughs> Good morning, Linda. How are you? You know what I missed? You know, Linda's got a word. Anybody remember what the word is? Chotskis. Yes. Good to see you. Yes. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here. I had a great luncheon. Wish more of you would come. Got a great event coming up with the May's Day in the park. Where in the park is it going to be, Chili? Is it going to be at the amphitheater? It's going to be everywhere. They're going to have stuff in the amphitheater, but the booths are going to be at the soccer field, the big soccer field. Okay. Right behind the PSA. Come on down, you do enjoy it. Family event could be better. Just remember, hey, listen, always get what you pay for. It's just don't have to pay for what you already got. Shake those legs, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> and it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Young. Hi, I'm a dentist by profession. I'm on a Besides manager of local dental office, I've been a Murphy resident for about seven years. I've been in dental practice for almost a decade. Um, is your dentist just drilling, filling, and filling you? Dentistry is not about drilling and filling. Dentistry is about curing your mouth. Dentistry is not just um, picking up cavities and filling you up. I don't know how many of you read my news article recently that says your mouth is talking to you while you're listening. If you have any areas in your mouth that are sensitive, bleeding, your cheeks are tired, you're uh, having a bad breath, you have a bleeding spot, you don't know why it is, um, or you're also having to get up with some mouth trends, you do need to see your dental physician. It's not just dentistry anymore. So at Countryside Smiles, we cure your mouth, we just don't drill and fill. You can book your online appointments at countrysidesmiles.com. We accept Humana Medicare and United Healthcare Medicare, but we also have an in-house membership plan for anybody who doesn't afford to have a dental insurance because dental insurance doesn't cover a lot. It's just a coupon, um, but we do accept major PPOs. So um, end of the year is coming. Make sure you use your benefits and book your appointment at countrysidesmiles.com. Well, now we're going to be ready for our spotlight, so let me get the presentation on here. That's the one. All right, I'll share the screen. So, Linda, thumbs up. Can you see that? All right, let me get this. Actually, I want to. I, I just put these on. Uh, how, how do I get the uh, <coughs> control bar off of it? I the button I need is right there. Okay, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Okay, and, and Linda, I'm sorry, I'm not going to stand here just so I can get to the mic. Do you want a wireless mic? No, no, that's fine. Um, okay, so. Half of us are in the financial and insurance industry, right? So we already know all this stuff anyway, right? And, and those of you who know me know that I'm not uh, like you guys. I am pretty much a cynic. I was a software engineer for 40 years, and, and when I got tired of you know sitting in front of a computer and thinking all day, I wanted to go out and talk to people. And in the years I've been doing this, talking to people, what I find is all this stuff is great for people who have money, but most of us don't. It, those of us in the room do. We've started businesses that, that's what I call productive use of capital. But most people out there are, are consuming and they're not actually producing anything with their money. So, And also in my lifetime, I've seen it go from um, 
you accumulated assets that were worth something to debt-driven consumption. And I can't think of a more fragile system than debt-fueled consumption. But that's what we're living in now. Okay, so insurance is about risk, right? What are the risks? What is the risk that I'm going to uh, have in a particular, and it changes over your life. So that's why I, I put this together. Uh, when you first start, uh, and you're young, and you're healthy, the chance of you dying is much lower than the chance of losing your job. So you should probably have some kind of disability insurance that will give you an income if you have no job. If you are not healthy, yes, you should have other things in place, but you can put so much insurance in place that it uses 100% of your income. And what good does that do you, you know, because when you go to use the insurance, say, you're, you know, your house takes a hit and you have to use that, it doesn't pay for the whole thing. Where's that extra money coming from? So you can't spend your whole income on insurance. You have to pick and choose over your life what makes sense for you. Life insurance is great if you're rich and you want to pass it on to your kids. It's when you're in, in this area where having, you know, no job means how am I going to feed the kids, you probably ought to have at least term life. I mean, something uh, for your, your family in case but then you also ought to start thinking about 40 years down the road. Get that long term or, or the annuity at a, a lower cost. And yes, you'll have to pay for it over a longer period of time, but it won't hit your budget quite as hard. So one of the, one of the things that, that I found that people don't understand, and I certainly didn't, I was on employer group insurance, so I thought that's how it all was. Um, figuring out the difference between benefit style and indemnity style plans was a big step forward for me. So a benefit style plan, uh, you go to the doctor, you come out with a long list of things they did to you, and the insurance will pay for some of everything. Indemnity is like, we'll pay you a fixed amount for certain things, and the rest of it is on you. So you got to come up with money. Um, I threw in sidecar health because I did see a few ads for it. I, I contracted with them, but I never really could find them, anybody who actually needed it. It's the pay as you go. So if, I guess maybe if you were 30 and single and, and never, you know, just needed something, if you had to go to an urgent care center, you, it's like a Visa card, and you give it to them, and there's a fixed amount for it. That that's, I expect to see more of that as the years go by for people who just need, you know, help, <laughs> but not full blown insurance. But uh, if you're like laid off and you expect to be getting a job, you can go on Cobra, um, or you can do short term medical. That is typically fix um, indemnity style. Um, lately, they've been coming up with life insurance products called Life with Living Benefits, which is a better way of doing long. Long-term care insurance is very difficult to get. I don't even sell it. I mean, um, you have to look at so many different things, and a lot of the insurers went belly up uh, when they, once they started having to pay out. But life of living benefits is triggered by a health event. So uh, I expect over the next decade or so for the traditional long-term care to be replaced by these types of uh, policies. Okay, so we're not corporate wage slaves, right? We own businesses. If you have employees, you have a Department of Labor requirement to do certain things. Workman's comp 
is one of those excess and surplus lines that very few people understand. Um, and I don't sell, but I know a lot of people who do. I mean, so if you're in the position of, of like you grow your agency and you get some employees and you want to, you know, cover them, you, you might uh, consider that. Okay, now, healthcare.gov is the major medical way of covering yourself. We sometimes call it individual pol or family policies. Sometimes we call it um, um, I, I hate it when that happens. Well, yeah, marketplace plans. But um, well, I lost it. Never mind. It's major medical. And again, over time, they have been going from fee for service, which is you go to the doctor, you pay for whatever procedures they uh, did, to a managed care paradigm. And I think this is the biggest change that, that people need to understand. A managed care paradigm means you have a primary care doctor who oversees all of your medical care all your specialists, um, all your treatments, all your drugs, and to try to prevent that overlap of, you know, duplicate drugs. And um, it is not necessary to have that if you don't need hospitalization. You can get by with short-term medical. And so when you hear people, uh, give their elevator speeches. If they're talking about, you know, if they give you the story about, you know, family of four, paying 2,500 a month for insurance, and I can switch into this great stuff that only costs them 900 a month, it's almost guaranteed to be an indemnity stack, which is fine if you know what you're doing. Now, by stack, what I mean is, in addition to medical, you may put uh, heart, cancer, uh, oh, and I, I can't think of it. There are several other flavors of that coming out. But like I say, I mean, you can spend all your money on insurance if you want. You can cover everything that could possibly ever happen to you. But what you need to do is figure out what are the odds that I, me personally, am going to have this happen? What are the odds that my house is going to burn down? not as great as the, the odds that somebody's going to slip and fall on my sidewalk and sue me. I have homeowner's insurance, you know, for that. Um, once you, uh, if the managed care paradigm works for you, then healthcare.gov and Medicare Advantage is fine for you. Uh, and even some employer group insurance with HMOs, uh, you get used to that. And as long as all your doctors are in network, then really the only thing that's going to eat into your retirement savings are the prescriptions. And we're trying to get a handle on that, but it's going to take a while. You can, if, if you have uh, certain issues, and I'm not talking about diabetes. If, if you're a diabetic, they have all sorts of plans that will help you out. If you have some other uh, problem, and the new prescription drugs are really helping you, they're very expensive. You can spend almost 10 grand a year just on the drugs. And we're trying to bring that down to 2,000, but it'll take a while. Yeah. And then uh, at the end, of course, final expense. But, but the one thing, okay, we're in a room uh, full of business people, right? We have money. What I'm finding is that most people go into retirement without anything. Life has just hit them hard. You know, medical, one medical incident, one child with a disability. I mean, it, it doesn't take much to just suck all your resources down and you end up with no assets. And that's when you get into the government 
uh, programs. So when you see on the, and it's coming up, in a couple of weeks, we're going to be inundated with the ads. Are you getting all the benefits you deserve? And they list a bunch of stuff like meals and transportation and over the counter and all that. They're looking for people who may be on Medicare Advantage already that they want to switch to dual special needs plan. Now, by dual, I mean Medicare and Medicaid. So Medicare is national, Medicaid is state. In Texas, you can't get it if you are under 65, unless you're pregnant, and even then, as soon as you have the kid, you're kicked off. So um, Medicare, Medicaid, and then these dual plans that take care of a lot more benefits, and, and they're adding benefits every year, things like utility bills, you know, paying for your heating in the winter so that you don't freeze to death. <coughs> these are for people that have no money, no assets. And so when they die, who's gonna pay for the funeral, right? It can't come out of the estate because there is none. So that's what final expense insurance is for. And it's really cheap. So if that's, you know, if you're down in those lower income, or if you are talking to people who are in those lower income echelon, I highly recommend that they at least get a burial policy so that that's, yeah, they're not putting it on their credit cards. Okay, well, okay. The last thing I'm gonna say is, don't care, don't care, don't care. I don't tell any of this, don't care. Seriously, I know people who do. You know, I need life insurance, I can, Let's see four people right here that sell it to you. Take care of your final expenses, John, right? I mean, do it in advance. My mother did. She was really poor. So, it, you know, it makes sense. You sell insurance. You can do all that, right? So we all work together, right? My focus is healthcare.gov, medicare.gov, and uh, some of the, the fillers, dental vision hearing. But, you know, for the other stuff, I mean, any of us will look over your entire picture, right? You're trying to get the big picture of your life and figure out what we can do for you within your budget. <laughs> and so we rely on each other to, to, you know, help the people that we come in contact with. So that's what we do. Okay, Dr. Gill told me that I should should tell you who I am. This is my brochure. Radical is my logo. I'm I'm Radical Jean. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, the sponsorships go to help. Uh, right now, we are forecast to be able to bring in right around eleven thousand uh, dollars on Saturday with all the uh, sponsorships, which means that all eight of our scholarships would be funded, which is awesome. So thank you guys for contributing. Thank you also to Steve Dalt and Zane um, with uh, Allstate for uh, really stepping up. And then uh, she's not here, but Tara uh, Baker with uh, Farmers Insurance uh, as well. You didn't raise your hand, but you should have, because Karen did. So thank you all. Get ready for right. ready. All right, well, go ahead and enjoy the, thank you again, G, with the bagels, and there's some water left. Feel free to follow up with anyone. Oh, yeah, we've got some drawings. Sorry. Thanks. Everybody with their card in? Oh. We've got quite a few prizes today. We have, uh, oh, we have a lot. Everybody's going to be a winner today. Not Bobby. Not Bobby. I always say Bobby's card out. I won't complain. <laughs>